Okay, you came back. <laughs> That's great. We are going to be finishing up our collar today. We're going to be going over any, any finishing details that um, we have missed for some reason, but we're going to be basically finishing our dresses today. So exciting. If you missed it, we're working on new look 6651. I've got all the videos of every single step, including all the steps before sewing. So finding your size, cutting out your fabric, all of that stuff, um, all linked in the description box. So if you wanna see the rest of the sew along, be sure to check that out. And let's just get right into it. Let's finish our collars, let's finish our dress. So exciting. Um, okay, let's go. Three, two. So okay. now we need to attach the collar to the stand. And this is what I was trying to explain earlier. On the collar is the interface side. So what gets attached to the interfaced collar stand is the uninterfaced collar. It does not go like this where the two interface sides touch. The one non-interface side of the collar touches the interface side of the collar stand. Capiche? Okay, so this gets matched up. Uh, let's see, we have some a whole bunch of notches. This is the center back. We've also got double notches. Make sure I've got that right, yep. So you just match this up. This should go in really easily, like a one-to-one -one situation. You're not having to do any easing like we did with the collar stand, AKA neckband. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever call it a neckband. Um, okay, and then it kind of just swoops around here and on your collar stand piece, there is this marking here, this big circle, and that's what it gets lined up with. So I'm actually a little bit off. I can come in another quarter of an inch. So let's do that. Make sure that looks good. Yeah. All right, and then just fill in the rest here. It's nice to use the markings because the interfacing can kind of like pull up the uh, collar a little bit, you know, make it a little less, like shrink it up a little bit. So use the, use the tools that you've been given, use the markings that you've been given. It is not a bad idea. But can you imagine if we spent all that time marking our fabric, like we wouldn't be able to see any of it. So what's the point? So I always just wait and do it either something like this or I'll mark it after the whole collar is constructed. I mean, you couldn't see any markings that we were gonna do right now anyways. <laughs> so might as well just save yourself that step whenever you're cutting. Get all these raw edges lined up. Okay, and then we're just gonna buzz this through our um, sewing machines. We can just baste this on. Your label is gonna go on the right side of your neck band facing. <laughs> and we also need to um, press under 3 eighths of an inch on this long edge here. And I've said it a thousand times, but Here's my little trick, three eighths times two is six eighths, which equals three quarters. So we're gonna come in three quarters of an inch, put a nice little mark and do this all the way around the edge. That way, when we get to our, our iron and fold this up, we and we match the raw edge to the marking line, now we've got a perfect three eighths inch hem. Okay, so everything is pinned, all the raw edges along the curved little edge all match up. So we're going back down to our 3 8 inch, we're staying at our 3 8 inch seam allowance and we're going back down to our regular stitch length and then we're just going to zip around this little um, cornered edge. What you need to make sure when you're sewing is that you start your stitching right at the edge of your, the folded edge of your placket. When this gets turned to the right side, the idea is that this uh, 
folded side of the placket just seamlessly, no pun intended, moves right in to the neckband. There shouldn't be like a little jut out here. There sh it shouldn't be indented in. It should just be nice and smooth. Easier said than done. I know, I know, I know. But that is the goal. That's that's That would be Nirvana. That's what we're aiming for. Um, so do the very, very best you can to wield all of this and get a really, really pretty, nice, smooth transition from your plaque it to your neck band. All right, so one little trick I'm gonna try and show you guys. So one of the problems with coming around the collar and trying to get a smooth situation there is that things want to get a little shifty. So if you take an awl or a chopstick or even just the tip of your seam ripper and you use it as almost like a indestructible finger, you know, keeping it out of the way of the needle, but you can hold more of this stuff in place and it's not like a pin, um, it, it's a little bit more temporary than that. So you can kind of just hold all this in place while you come around. Do you see how I'm doing that here? So keeping my actual fingers out of the way, but using this as a finger just to gently press this down and kind of, I mean, really just kind of put it in, like push it through the machine so that you can get the closest transition as possible. And if you want to do, if you like coming around where you can see what you're doing, it's a lot easier putting it through this way than it was on the other side. So if you like that, then so one half of your collar, then turn the whole thing over like this and then come around and sew the other half. I can do a pretty decent job of it on my own without that, but if it helps you to do it in two parts, go ahead and do that. Now that you've got your collar stand and your collar sewn on, the collar stand gets flipped to the inside. The other collar stand is here. The collar was sandwiched in between and then the collar stand facing without the interfacing is what is on the inside. We need to add our label if you're putting one in. Um, I have this one from um, Label Weavers that has my little brand name, sizing, care instructions, all in one. So I can just fold this in half and she gets placed like this and hangs down so pretty. So I will just kind of tack that in and before I put the um, before I put the collar stand facing down. Um, and then the collar stand facing itself, you can do this just like we did for the placket, meaning um, set your machine to that really large basting stitch and baste around you know, this whole thing um, before you stitch in the ditch from the right side, which is out here, or you can take it by hand, you know, and tack this whole thing down by hand, whichever one um, you like. If you're really proficient sewing by hand, by all means do that. Um, but you just need to contest with these little corners, make sure they get tucked in nice and beautifully like so. And we're just sewing down the collar stand. That's really it guys, that's, that's the end. So take it to my machine, show you how I do it, get the label in and we'll be done. I feel like doing after sewing a collar in a collar stand. Um, 
take your time at the machine you guys really use that all to help maneuver the fabric through and then if you have to do any bits by hand do not be ashamed by that at all it'll look perfect the last thing you need to do is press uh your collar uh, down so the collar gets pressed away from the collar stand and i like to use this taylor's ham because it gives you like the illusion of like a neck right so you're able to come in here and press this collar more like it's meant to be shaped around a body uh, rather than just like doing it flat so you can come in and press all around um, your collar let it sit just like it is and it will kind of hold that shape a little bit better if you want you can put a button here i'm going to omit mine i just i'm never ever going to button that so i don't even want to futz around with an actual button but that's it okay so my dress is done i just tried it on for the first time and you guys i really really like it it is you know up there with one of my favorite makes although these days anything that i make that fits like exceptionally well and the finishing and, and construction and execution is done really well, that always makes it to the top of my list. So this is one of those. Um, I think you guys are gonna really love it too. All of the alterations that I made in the beginning all worked out. Taking my time on the buttonholes worked out. The collar looks really, really good. I'm so excited about that. Doing the hand sewing bits, you know, taking that extra time to make sure that it's really, really perfect really helped. Um, so I hope that you guys are giving yourself the opportunity for perfection or at least Nirvana um, as well. Tomorrow, I will be revealing my dress in what looks like a normal pattern review video. So I'm gonna be talking about a lot of the things that you guys probably picked up on as we go, went through the instructions. I'm gonna be talking about the kind of odd uh, length ease with the bodice. I'm gonna be talking about construction, talking about my general overall thoughts on the garment um, as it fits me. Um, I'll be showing you how I style it, how I plan on wearing it, you know, all of the, that really cool stuff. I hope that when you finish your dress, you will be proud enough to share it with the world too. Be sure to tag me if you do that. I'm at Inside the Hem Everywhere. I would love to see your version of the dress when you are done. Um, and yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions at all about this. If you are, if you wanted to watch the whole sew along before you started sewing, I get that. Um, but if any questions have come up, be sure to let me know about those. This Thursday, uh, Thursdays at 5.30 Eastern is whenever I do my Hem Cider small group Zoom. So if you've gotten to a place in the instructions where you're just completely stuck and my help, my video did not help, come join the Hem Ciders. Uh, Threads level subscribers get access to this Zoom. They get access to me for 30 minutes every single week. Um, so I'll have a link to that as well where you can join and bring all your questions about this project or any other project that you're working on. So that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow to show you my dress. I'm so excited. And we have another sew along in the books. So exciting. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.